Hi everyone, welcome to my channel where I share my hikes and adventures in Norway and sometimes abroad. Today I'm going to show you a beautiful hike to Haramsfjelle, the highest point on Haramsøya Island, and tell you the story of how this island was once split in two by a wind park. I also visit the charming Lepsøyreve lighthouse on the way. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Haramsøya is about 60 km or one hour drive from Ålesund centrum. Up until 2021 you had to take a ferry from the mainland and out to the islands. However, the ferry service is no longer operating as a new bridge has been built to connect the islands to the mainland, which makes it a lot easier to get to the islands. The bridges is part of Norevegen project, which connects seven islands with bridges and tunnels. The bridge was opened for public traffic on 18th of December 2021, and it cost 172 knock per direction for cars to cross. Driving to Haramsøya, I recommend a short visit to the Lepsøyreve lighthouse, which is located on a small islet connected to the mainline by a breakwater. The lighthouse was established in 1879 and is white with a red roof. It stands 11.5 meters. Before the lighthouse was lit, the first lighthouse ship in the country was in the harbor outside the reef. Because of the Lepsøyreve reef that stretched across the mainland to Lepsøya, ships could only pass through a narrow channel in the reef. It now acts as a museum where you can learn about its history and see some old equipment and photos. The museum is open from June to August and it costs 50 Norwegian kroners to enter. I crossed the breakwater and walked around the lighthouse, admiring its architecture and its location. The lighthouse was decommissioned January 29, 2014. In 2009, the association Lepsøyreve Fyrvenner began refurbishing the lighthouse. All of the interior had to be replaced as water leakage over time had led to extensive rot damage. The renovation was completed in 2014 and the lighthouse can now be rented for individuals or groups, not for overnight stays though. The lighthouse was also used as a lookout point during World War II and it was severely damaged by a two Allied air raids in 1944. After spending some time at the lighthouse, I decided to continue my trip to the other side of the island, where I wanted to hike up to Monnen at Haramsøya, to see the Haramsøya wind park that created a lot of anger and demonstrations at the islands when it was built in 2020. To get there, I had to drive over the bridge and follow the road signs to Haramsfjell. There is a road that leads up to the top of the mountain. This is closed for ordinary traffic, so I parked at the road barrier and started hiking up to the top. It is an easy walk of about 3 km one way. The road was steep and winding, but it offered some amazing views of the surrounding islands and the sea along the way. The wind park was built in 2020 and started up in 2021. It consists of 8 wind turbines that generate electricity for the islands and the mainland. However, the park was controversial as it divided the island in two, those for and those against the wind park, and affected the landscape and the wildlife. Many locals protested against the project and demanded its removal. They formed a group called Nej til Vindkraft på Haramsøya, which means No to Wind Power on Haramsøya. They organized demonstrations, petitions and lawsuits to stop the wind park. They argued that the wind park was harmful to the environment, the culture and the tourism to the island. They also claimed that the wind park was not necessary as the island had already enough electricity from other sources. The conflict escalated throughout 2020 and 2021 and resulted in several arrests, fines and court rulings. The police had to intervene several times to remove protesters from the construction site and the developers had to hire security guards to protect the workers and the equipment. The wind power plant is expected to produce about 113 gigawatt hours of electricity per year, which is equivalent to the annual consumption of about 7,000 households. Was it worth destroying a mountain, dividing neighbors and creating conflict and anger? I'll leave it up to you to decide. After about an hour of walking, I reached the top of Haramsvjelle, where a large charn marked the highest point. The view from here was stunning as I could see the whole island and the neighboring islands of Lepsøya, Flemsøya and Skuleya. I could also see the mainland and the Sunmer Alps in the distance. The weather was clouded and with some light snow in between the breakage in the clouds and there was a cold icy wind blowing. 
The sun sits low in the sky this time of the year and we only have about 7 hours of sunlight during the day. I took some photos and videos and enjoyed the scenery for a while. Then I decided to end my hike and head back to the car. I retraced my steps along the road and the bridge and back to Ålesund. The hike was about 6 km in total and it took me about 2 hours, including the stops along the way. It was a moderate hike with some steep sections but nothing too difficult. I had a great time exploring Haramsea and I highly recommend this hike to anyone who wants to see some of the hidden gems of Norway. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a comment and let me know what you think. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of new uploads. I'll see you in the next video.